Welcome back to El Yucateco. I'm Ricer with the YouTube channel Dead Broke Barbecue. And today I'm gonna smoke up a beautiful pork loin. Not only is pork loin affordable, it's pretty easy to find. So for the holidays, this pork loin would be very budget friendly. And to give it that holiday twist, we're gonna put on a pineapple bourbon glaze. I did trim up a little bit of the silver skin and there is some cords where these two muscles meet that I like to take off because it just gets a little tough on the chew. Obviously I didn't take it all off because a little bit of fat adds a lot of flavor. I am going to score this up lightly, just dragging my knife across. I'm not too worried about the pattern that I'm making, so we're just gonna crisscross it a little bit. And the bonus, these little pockets are gonna catch a little bit of extra pineapple bourbon glaze. I'm not worried about scoring the bottom side, but we are obviously going to go ahead and get some flavor on it. And today for my binder, I'm using the El Yucateco Caribbean Hot Sauce Chili Habanero. We're just gonna put a couple little bit of splooshes on it. Now I'm just using a standard barbecue rub. You can use whatever your favorite barbecue rub is. Now we flip it over to the important side. Let's get a little bit of more of this Caribbean hot sauce on here. And we wanna try to get it in that grooves. That's just gonna penetrate that flavor through this whole loin. Now we'll just top it off with our favorite barbecue rub. And don't forget to get the sides and the ends. I like using a barbecue rub on a pork loin because it enhances the flavor, but also gives you a really pretty color. Today I'm gonna be smoking this pork loin on a pellet grill, but you can use whatever style of cooker you want. You can even cook this in your oven, but I wouldn't put it in the microwave. While this sets and sweats, we're gonna get our pellet grill fired up. Our pellet grill is preheated to 200 175 degrees and our pork loin has some El Yucateco sweats. Look, that's sweaty. We're gonna place the pork loin right in the center of the pit. And I'm gonna form up this pork loin just a tad so it's more even. And how we put it in, it's how it's gonna set as it cooks. We'll take one meat probe and put it on the left hand side. And we'll take our other meat probe and we'll stick it in on the right hand side. And now I'll set a timer for one hour and we'll rotate this 180 degrees. So this is a perfect time to start making that pineapple bourbon glaze. We'll start off with three quarters of a cup of light brown sugar. A quarter cup of our favorite barbecue rub one and a half cups of pineapple preserve or 12 ounces, a third of a cup of dark molasses, a half a cup of your favorite bourbon, one tablespoon of red wine vinegar. We're gonna use one tablespoon of the El Yucateco's Caribbean hot sauce chili habanero. And if you want, feel free to add a tad more or less. We're gonna cook this at a low to medium heat and we'll start stirring this all around and get all this flavor to start to incorporate. So we'll bring it up to a slight little boil and then we'll reduce it and let it simmer until it's time to start putting it on that pork loin. My one hour timer went off and we've reached an internal temperature of 100 degrees on this pork loin. So this is a great time to go ahead and rotate it. Starting to get a nice little smoky color to it too. Watch out for my cords. Get them tucked back here. Yeah, look, I can see in this little crack we're starting to develop a little smoke ring. Once I reach an internal temperature of 125 degrees on this pork loin, then we'll start to apply that pineapple bourbon glaze. That's when it starts to get really yummy. Here's a quick tip for you. Whenever you are applying any type of bourbon glaze to a chunk of meat in a grill, get a sheet pan and foil it because it makes cleanup a lot easier. We have reached that internal temperature of 125 degrees on this pork loin. Let's get this in the sheet pan. For some of you that might be wondering, all of the alcohol in our bourbon glaze has been burnt off. The best way to apply this glaze is to just drizzle it on because we don't wanna scrub it on too hard and remove all that delicious rub that's now adhered to this pork loin. This will take a little bit, but make sure you're dabbing some on the sides too, because we don't want anybody to complain that they didn't get enough of that pineapple bourbon in that bite. That looks good for our first coat. I'll repeat this step two more times. Once I reach an internal temperature of 130, and then again, once I reach 135. 
My target temp to pull this pork loin is at 140 degrees. And then we're gonna pull that pork loin out of the pit. Two and a half hours later, we get to finally dig into this pork loin. We're gonna take this pork loin and put it on the cutting board and loosely tent it with some aluminum foil for 15 minutes. It's a great time for you to subscribe to the channel. Even give it a thumbs up if you think I'm worth it. This pork loin is just screaming deliciousness. But just look at that, that's a perfect mahogany red. Now we're gonna follow our exact little score marks. Ooh, that looks fantastic. Let's lop off a slice. Obviously you can see this pork loin is nice and juicy. So don't let anybody ever tell you that you cannot make a nice juicy pork loin. Proof's in the Caribbean hot sauce if you ask me. So now let's just get a little nugget and try it. <laughs> You're kidding me. It's a perfect combination. The El Yucateco Caribbean hot sauce gives a plain pork loin the boost that it needs to be delicious. 100% guaranteed that this cook right here will be a winner during the holiday season. This must be where they got the phrase dripping like a stuck pig. I know you want this. And the bonus part about pulling it at 140 degrees and just letting it rest under foil, it's gonna be tender, it's gonna be very tender. And nobody ever complains about pork loin being tender. I appreciate you watching and I'll see you in the next video. Knuckles! <laughs>